Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost 1.0. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I need to get through this room once again. First things first. And second things second. No? God damn, I'm not very good at this. Oh, hell. Didn't know you guys did that. Fuck it. Well, now I know there's a hidden wall on the ceiling. Oh. What is that? Great. That didn't even do anything when I walked straight under it, which is unusual. No souls in any of these rooms. Interesting. Less interesting is the part where I'm about to die horribly. Why can't that just be an infinite number of fucking... Okay. of fucking cramped quarters that I couldn't do that without, uh... Without instantly killing them as soon as they appear. I would want to go back and turn off, uh... What are they called? Oh, Ivania, to see what happens to those eyeball dudes. Does it make? They're all going to be 3D printed in what three seconds anyway.
No! It's a happy face. <laughs> oh, very well. Oh, I hate this. It's really funny to see these guys power walking once you get the urgency upgrade. I was hoping you would drop a tiny wrench. Boy, that didn't last long. So much for all the cubes back in the other room. Fuck! The other save rooms seem to have the lightning stuff in the background. It just doesn't animate if you're not that one. Or if it's not that one, which is weird. I wonder if that was a bug or what. Okay, back here again. Saw blades. Oh, I don't have any magnets. Damn it, damn it, damn it. The fact that there's a billion of them over there, but you know, that's neither here nor there. She even unlocked survival nine, survive alarm level nine. The important thing is you're fucking dead. I guess nine is as high as it goes. Because uh, it doesn't seem to have increased when I came back. Hmm. Useful information.
Hmm. Well, this is interesting. I'm going to go down, but what the fuck? Because they both lead to the same place. Confirmed. I was thinking that if Ghost was really a Naka, why is she putting her existence in peril? What do you mean? Think about it. She snuck into the orbital facilities where her AI is hosted, and she's destroying everything. Isn't that a stupid risk? Well, it's following orders. Okay, if a customer asked you to destroy the air generators that let you breathe, should you do it? Obviously not, but... Because that's what she's doing. And furthermore, she looks like she's having fun. Your Naka theory does not hold. I see there's only one way to convince you, so I'll do it. What are you gonna do? Give you the ultimate evidence. Discover Ghost's IP. Are you gonna track down her house? Man, that's breaking and entering. And sneaking into Nakamura isn't? Well, yes, but with Ghost, we shouldn't violate her privacy. Since when do machines have a right to privacy? Jacker, Ghost is a human being until you prove otherwise. Got it? Okay, okay. Boogan, it will just be to poke around and see what zone she's connected from. If the connection comes from Nakamura, we'll know Ghost's Anaka. Come on, it's exactly the confirmation you're asking for. If it comes from somewhere else, no matter where, I'll give up. Okay. I accept. Just... just don't get traced. This has been a rather soulless stretch of rooms, but I don't feel like that was an intentional, uh... joke. Oh, God. I hate you. Let me just... Yeah, that's a problem I can solve right now. <laughs> I really like that. Oh, I don't love this. Right? Well, I don't see this ending well. That sucked. Wait. If I wait long enough, it'll just give me uh, 50 health. Okay, so... I can work with that. It's not great, but I can work with that.
New music, it's a promising start. Impossible. I can't track Ghost's IP. It goes through a proxy that hides the original IP and there's no way to hack it without exposing ourselves. Can't you just look for what information goes in and out of the space station? There are millions of servers communicating with their respective Nakas on Earth. Too much information to be processed. Wait, I got an idea. Oh yeah? Congratulations. You won't be happy about this. What, 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 what are you, what are you planning? A disturbance in the force. Uh, in English? To create a disturbance in the signals that artificial minds send to their bodies. If Ghost's body receives this disturbance, then her mind is in Nakamura. And if the body receives nothing? Then I'm wrong, and you're right. Should it be our deciding factor? Sure. How long will it take to program this disturbance? That's where I need you, Bugen. I can't code such a thing. It must be done physically. Generate a physical disturbance? Yes. Something that confuses the connection between minds and bodies. Ugh. Give me some time to think about it. It's a junkyard. But there is a save room just there. No. No! It's not my time. Oh, fuck. Imagine if I died right there. You know what this means, Burning Dog fans? I never have to go through those awful corridors ever again. Let's just go down here. Uh oh! I'm kind of curious about something, so. That's the nice thing about uh, 3D printing endless bodies. It's not even my pocket that the uh, payment for all of these materials is coming out of. Uh. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize you were alive again. You can keep that. I don't need it. I think I found a way. Shoot. The chunker wastes a large amount of energy. If we create a fault in the chunker's differentials, the power in the whole section will go down. You want us to try jump starting? Yes, but only in the chunker. Right when the electrical system goes down, the rest of the space station will notice a slight displacement in its potential difference. The disturbance in the force. Yes. This will cause communications up there to be altered for a few milliseconds. It's very little time, but we can definitely register it. Let's do it. How do we proceed? Easy. We have to find the main power conductors and overcharge them simultaneously. Wait, wait, wait. We don't have a map of Nakamura. How are we supposed to find those conductors? And how do we overcharge them? Well, we can find them using a power scanner, and we can overcharge them by using electromagnetic bombs and a remote detonator. Power scanner. Electromagnetic bombs. Remote detonator. Aren't you asking for too much? We can't waste time looking for devices that may not exist up there. Dude, they have 3D printers. And I have blueprints. Oh, oh! Boogan, you're a genius! Ghost, go to the nearest 3D printer. What for? Just go! No, I don't think there's any way I can get to that, uh, life star and see if there's any cubes inside without, uh, getting myself killed in the process. Houston, I'm at a 3D printer. Hold on. We're printing some stuff for you. 
Neat. <laughs> Houston, I have the devices. What am I doing with these? Ghost Boogan here. Find the main power conductors in the chunker, then place an electromagnetic device on each of them. Some of them might be in the wall, so be sure to use the scanner. Acknowledged. Energy scanner detects hidden energy currents at short range. Oh, that's it. There's no like explosives in here. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Uh, you can go in instead of. Uh, I meant that one actually. I don't have any of those at the moment. They are kind of important. that it was an instant death to go in there. Oops, oh, don't leave that. I need that. How come you can shoot through that shit and I can't? Well, that looks important, so I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, it's that door there, I see. And then I'm gonna go down here, just to spite you. A locked 3D printer. Regeneration 160. Red Wrath. I think I had that one. Uh-huh. 320. Goddamn. Emergency Propulsors. Propulsors that automatically activate just before falling into a crusher, throwing you to a safe position. One charge. Stop belts. Stop all conveyor belts for five seconds. Oh no, I didn't put the other... Oh, urine. Stupid expensive ass upgrades. No. Yeah, that'd be the one. And that's what I thought it meant. It wasn't like some new thing. It just I'd just never seen that before. And it just so happens that the timer has gone, so I'll just save it and call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost 1.0 when we find those power sources. All eight of them. And, uh... Find out once and for all whether a ghost is human or not. Later.